Hello, 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 everyone. Talks here. How are things today? Hopefully, you're all doing well. So, instead of doing face cam introduction, thought we'd just go straight into it. Today, we're doing Evie box because Evie is just absolutely adorable. So, hopefully, you guys are having a good couple of days since the last video came out. If we can get the plastic off. So pop the lid on this and have a closer look at the EV promo. Which again, absolutely stunning background in. Absolutely beautiful. Pretty darn cool. That there. Rubbish away. Yeah. Cool card for you is. And then we get the packs. So I think it should be the same packs as all the tins. So we get two Darkness of Blaze, one Sword and Shield base, and one Sun and Moon base. So I think like last time, we'll just go reverse chronological. No, we'll go with chronological order. It is away with it this afternoon. So start with the Sun and Moon. which I think I've only opened one of on the channel prior to the Pikachu 10 the other day. And that was in the packs that my girlfriend actually picked out for me, which granted was mostly Magic the Gathering, but there was one Pokemon Sun and Moon in there. If I can get this open, it'd be great. Oh, cheat. Having a wee knife is handy, especially when you have a kit to do Gundam models with. And there you go, cool card for that one. And there is the four, so starting with Leaf Energy, Deja Vu, Poison Barb, Extreme Deja Vu, Dragonair, slightly different. Then we have a Charger Bug, Wingle, Lollipop, a Cosmog, a Rallet, Yangos, Energy Retrieval, Reverse Hollow, and first rare of the day. Ooh, awesome. A Lunala GX. I'm actually a wee bit upset that I missed out in the Sun and Moon games because I always seen that Lunala, I think, would have been my choice, my favorite. Just because it's a moon bat. Why would you not like that? But we're definitely getting today started off strong, and I'm very happy with that. Maybe today's the day. Maybe today is charge art day. Never know. Okay. Go to the Lapis pack of Sword of Shield Base. There is a cool card for that one. Hopefully these cool cards bring you guys some luck. If you do get lucky, if the codes are redeemed and you get good pulls on the TCG, please let me know. Because it'd be good to hear. I do still have a video planned where I've got a lot of packs on the TCG because the codes were gifted to me from friends. So I'm hopefully going to do a digital opening at some point very, very soon. And there is Reverse Hollow Scorbunny. And not bad. Hollow Morning. I will happily take that. Because I think the only ones I've got so far are from the Trainer Toolbox. So having a Hollow is pretty good for me. So then we have Grimmsnarl or Scorch. Go and do Grimmsnarl. Do him first. Because I think, out of the two of them, I think Grimmsnarl's doing better for me pull-wise. Don't know if that's accurate for most people, but for me, it seems to work. Mm 
and there is the four. Then we have Fist Bump Energy. Then we have a Vanillish, a double, well, single scoop, medium single scoop. Then a Clang, Gotharita. We have an Electric, a Galarian Mr. Mime, a Grimer that just wants his hand held. Then we have a Clink, a Shkere, Reverse Hollow Kangas Can, which is. We didn't get the promo from the Build and Battle Kits. Never got the promo Kangas Can. Well, if we can get any more, hopefully. And Darkness of Blaze Rare is a muck. Big, gloopy boy. But I've always loved him. He's Gen 1. And I am a Gen 1 for life kind of guy. Last Darkness of Blaze out of the tin. There you go. As I said, hopefully the code card gets you something good. Ooh, is it a sign? Is it? Hopefully. Glessender. Hiding energy. A parasect. Arn. A cub chew. A rallet. A jiggly iggly puff. Diglett, Corv Squire, Talon Flame, non holographic. <sighs> oh, Darkness of Blaze, why must you tease me so? Because it's demanding more. Okay. More. Double packs. It would just be nice to get one Darkness of Blaze pull from these videos. But then again, Promo Eevee is beautiful. Lunology X, absolutely cool. And I'm happy with the Marnie Hollow. But I'm greedy and I want more. Always want more. There is the code card if you focus. There you go. Fire. A more Pico. A Capacious Bucket. Horror Energy, which I just like as a concept. A Shinx. A Roly Coley, an Applin, Hatina, Magikarp with a Derp Pikachu in the background. Beautiful. Then we have a Reverse Hollow Hatterini, which is the Champion's Path box, which should be coming out in a couple of weeks' time. That I'm hopefully going to have. And the Rare. You know what? I will take a butt face. Pinchurchin V with his little butt cheek face. He's adorable. We don't want to fight him. Not a fist fight anyway. And then we have it. Last Darkness of Blaze pack of the day. And there is the code card. So I think I'm getting slightly better at opening packs. It could be wrong. Please tell me if I'm wrong. I'm just being delusional. Kabu, still need the fall out of him. A semi siege. Another 
really cool looking deadlift, a squat, shelmet, moving into pampor, teddy arsa, a bon suite, uh, get the focus sorted for the rar, lugia, non hollow, still pretty cool. Love Lugia as a legendary Pokemon. But I just wish it had a wee bit extra space, you know what I mean? A wee bit extra something. A wee bit extra hot sauce. Would have really made that. But yeah. I would say... I know it's cheating claiming a promo, but... It's still very beautiful. And then Lunala GX. The Buttface V. And the hollow Marnie. Okay, guys, that will do it for now. Hopefully, catch you in the next one for the next and final Eternatus V10. So, until then, see you later.